All right, welcome to the podcast. On today's show, we're talking to Vadim from Bionic. Thanks for joining. People who don't know, what is Bionic? What's the company do? Bionic is personal supplements based on blood testing data. Okay. How did you get started? Like, So obviously the supplement world is killing it, probably in Los Angeles of all places. You can go to Irwan and get literally bee pollen from an Australian bee who spent a life in Sydney or something crazy. But like, what brought you into the space? What were you seeing? What was the problem? There's several problems. I mean, if you're talking about supplements, it's general. It's like a, it's a quarter trillion dollar market a year okay. of people buying things that they most likely don't need. Okay. If you go to any drugstore, what you will see, you will see hundreds of bottles on the shelves and most of them will say, take two per day. So why two? Why should you take two? And I'm, two, I'm six foot nine, you right. know, 260. Right. I'm what? six foot eight, one, exactly. one, <laughs> 100 pounds. So, you know, a woman, elderly woman, a child, why should we all take the same dosages of something? How do we know this is what we need? So we always knew that the supplements system, the current supplement system is broken. Like people who take supplements, that's great. You're proactive. You're thinking about your health. You want to try to help yourself. But are you actually helping yourself? Do you know if it works? Do you know if your body needs that and that dosage at that this given moment? Can you take all the supplements that you think you need or were recommended by? So there's obviously something broken here. And the reason how I found out, if you just you know, go back the years beforehand, was I was in that position where I was listening to podcasts, reading all those books, doing all the you know, bulletproof, bulletproof coffees, uh, yeah. trying to figure stuff out about myself, but never actually was able to optimize myself, never felt better, always felt sluggish, brain fog, not as energized as I used to be when I was younger. And I was like, what's going on? What's out there? What can I do? So the, the approach that I took back then was I started to ask around, look around, and I was recommended to see a doctor, uh, an endocrinologist who focuses on you know, behavior, hormones, metabolism of the body. So I go in, talking about the symptoms, talking about brain fog, talking about you know, lethargicness, talking about that I want to have that energy that I used to have. And he looks to me, listens to me, listens to my symptoms, like, yes, yes, nods his head, nods his head, and says to me, you know what, we're going to do a blood test, and then I'll tell you what you need to do to improve on all the symptoms. So pay $1,000, wait for a week, come back, expect a holy grail moment where my doctor's going to tell me exactly what I need. And I remember it exactly right now. The guy looks at me, oh, hey, prints out a PDF, looks at the blood parameters, looks at them, looks back at me and says, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, exactly. I hate that. And I'm like, what do you mean you're fine? Yeah, you're not ill. I'm like, okay, I'm not ill, but I still have my symptoms. He's like, listen, based on your blood test results, you are okay. And there's nothing I can do because I can only treat something that you know, requires prescription drugs once you're in that zone that needs support from me. Right. I'm like, but I don't want to get ill first before I get support. I'm trying to optimize myself. Yeah. To which he said, listen, this is, not the, <laughs> this is not the area of expertise. Traditional medicine doesn't optimize you. It cures you once you're already ill. Yeah. And that's how my journey started. So okay. the way I started my journey was realizing traditional medicine is not there to optimize myself. Okay. And during my journey, I realized that the supplement market and supplementation in general, which is there to supplement your lifestyle and your goals and your body's needs is actually broken in its current form. And in between those two things, Bionic was born, which was born on the idea of personalization through blood testing. So you do blood testing on a regular basis every three months. And based on that, you would receive the ingredients and the dosage that you need. But now comes the tricky part. I can't just go and take 100 different bottles off the shelf and give you 100 different pills every day to, to eat. It's just wrong because of the form of the shape of the negativity toxicity that it caused. So during that journey, this is what happened. I was researching and I found that a neuroscientist was do doing clinical trials in Switzerland in 2011 for Olympic athletes mm -hmm. to find a way how to improve cognitive physical function of athletes without causing doping. So in the limitations of VADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, how can I improve you as an athlete, physically and cognitively, without surpassing any illegal substances? And what he found out is during a seven-year trial is that if you optimize micronutrient levels of professional athletes, they become 10 days per year less sick. And because you're 10 days per year less sick, yeah. your body, instead of focusing on getting healthy, mm. is quick in recovery, better in workouts, better performance-wise, and what they were able to showcase a 6.9% improvement in standardized uh, physical tests mm -hmm. and up to 150% improvements in cognitive function. So I look at the study, I talk to him, there's 25 clinical trials, I discuss with him all those findings, I'm like, listen, if you can achieve 6.9% improvement for a professional athlete, which is ridiculous, yeah. like me as a former athlete, 1% right. is something you cut your pinky toe off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You give me 6.9, he's like, what can you do for a regular person, quote mm. unquote regular? He's like, 35 to 50%. Oh my God, So That's this is huge. 2017, okay. we're having this discussion, 2018, I'm like, let's do a pilot. 
Okay. So I asked friends, friends of friends, former employees, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you do a blood test? A blood test, yeah. And we'll provide to you personalized micronutrients, but in the Swiss form, which is in granular. So it's not pills, but it's a granular form that absorbs the micronutrients inside each other. And through slow absorption, you can intake all the ingredients at once, yeah. and they will slow dose you over the day. So I do this with 40 people. They get on it, and then I do the thing that I recommend most founders to do. After the first cycle, you're like, who wants to continue? And majority raised the hand. I'm like, who's willing to pay for it? Right, right. And that's when you really actually know if, there, if, if you there's have a something. Market. Yeah. Not just if people want to continue out of you know, curiosity or politeness. Or then what would they pay for it, too? And what would you pay for that? Yeah. So one of the people who wanted to continue wanted to pay for it was head of performance the UFC here in, in Nevada. UFC, wow, okay. The UFC in Nevada. Yeah. And he asked me, this is November 2017, yeah. he's asked me, Can you, do you mind flying out to us to Vegas to meet with my boss, the vice president of performance? Yeah. So I fly out 2018 to Vegas, <laughs> meet with the vice president, and okay. he says, Vadim, we've never seen a product like this in the market. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, in my, in my That's brain. That's got to be a little shocking. Because, you do, first of all, you never think you're the smartest. You never think never. you're a genius. You always think somebody else has done that already. Right. You think somebody else is doing something. Like, you're like, there's, there's billions of dollars. There's pharma. Totally. There's Silicon somebody Valley. Must have thought there's about somebody this. thought of, of creating personal supplements based on blood testing data. Right. Like, it can't be this. This is, it can't be me, right? right? So he says that. And the moment he says that, literally, I quit my day job, <laughs> went back, looked into legislation, looked into uh, regulatory limitations. And we realized that to set up the business to, uh, to produce personalized supplementation, the English market is the best market, the UK market. Interesting. So we set up the UK. It's favorable there. Okay. So we set up the UK company. Huh. We produce in Switzerland. We manufacture in Switzerland ingredients. We mix them in the UK, and we've been shipping globally <laughs> okay. since 2019. Okay. Uh, as of last month, we shipped to over 65 countries. We have over 100,000 subscribers all over the world, and the US market has been incredible for us. Over 80% of all our users are, are now in the U.S. This is just so interesting. At the beginning of your journey and getting the data, what's the marker that is the thing for someone to, to get these supplements? Is it age mostly? Like what's, the, what's like the thing where you're like, all right, you're 40, your blood starts changing, your body starts changing. What do you, what's like the, I hate to say the word, like the, of all the variables, yeah. right? There's like one that's going to scream the loudest. Yeah. Is that one age? So no, the, it's, okay. it's not age. So it's I think the nutrition, the nutritional aspect, your diet, okay. and the activity level has the biggest impact on your blood work. Okay. Which, Which one of the two, if you had to pick one, or does it not? They're both. Uh, no, both nutrition big. is more. Seventy percent of your health is nutrition. Got it. Okay. Like if you eat correctly and don't move, is better than if you move a lot and don't eat well. And that's proven over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So 70% of, I speak to everybody who I speak to, I'm like, listen, personal supplementation is the fourth or fifth thing on your list. Mm -hmm. The first thing is nutrition. Second thing is sleep. Third thing is movement. Yeah. And then we can talk about mental wellness or supplementation and all the other things. So I've never in my life said, hey, this is the, 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 you know, the know-it-all, the formula, the, the right. super pill. Right. I'm like, let's talk about nutrition. Let's talk about your activity level. Let's talk about your sleep patterns. Okay. We have that covered. Now let's talk about supplementation. Okay. Now what you're uh, implying to is something else. You asking me what is one of the you know, strongest indicators for the need or support that your body needs support. Right. I would spin it differently. Or, what, or the what, most efficient thing, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. So for women, it's iron levels. Okay. So iron levels directly influences the energy levels of women. Yeah. You hear a lot of times where I don't, I don't feel good, I don't have the power, I don't feel as well. I can guarantee to you, it's a low iron level. 82% of women have deficient iron levels. The worst part about it is not just that so many of them, majority of them already take iron, iron supplementation. And it's not working. And it's not working. And when we see the blood tests, it's very, very low. And they come in like, I've been taking iron supplementations for years. Like, wrong dosage, wrong format. Your body is not being able to absorb it. That's the one thing that women pay attention to. The second, men, they're all, there's only one parameter. Men actually care testosterone yeah that's the only thing they which care goes about. down allegedly when you're late 30s early 40s which will go down by one percent every year if you don't work out you're not active and you, the, the muscle mass that you lose so that comes with testosterone but testosterone is something interesting so an ideal testosterone level on standardized tests is but let's say between 15 to 25 that's just like a, a range now you come in tomorrow and yours is 12 so it's below it's, it's below the range it's it's a lower end now there's several scenarios if you would just get them PDF without being part of Bionic, without having a customer base of you know, 100,000 people, without having the algorithm behind it, yeah. 
you'll be like, oh my God, my testosterone is low. I'm getting sick. I need to go get TRT treatment. I need to, you know, That's start, right. start yeah. injecting, injecting hormones. Testosterone and all that kind of hormone therapy. Exactly. Yeah. Or you can actually fill in the questionnaire, answer a couple of questions. For example, how often do you work out? What's your sleeping pattern? What's your job? Because testosterone can be impacted in a negative way by stress levels on your job. Yeah. Have you been traveling? What's your diet? Or you've been preparing for a high rocks or a, a CrossFit or an Ironman. In that case, your testosterone will also be low, but it's a good way that it's low. It's low because of the endurance that you put on your body and the, and the, and the strain you put on your body. So it's a normal so reaction. It's used up, sure. So there's, there's parameters where you speak to men, they're like, my testosterone is low, everything's horrible, nothing is working. I'm like, well, it depends. Is it nothing working right. or are you overworking your body You're right now? Depleted. Maybe it's right. just right now that phase where it has to be. I've never seen an Ironman with high testosterone level during workouts. It doesn't work. And they're still fine. <laughs> like it, it's, it's one of those things right. where it's the parameters people react to. If I'm a supplement company and I want to sell supplements, all I have to do is like check your vitamin D. Why? Because vitamin D is super important. It's important for your immunity. It's important for your metabolism. But 99.9% have a low vitamin D level. And the whole idea that you live somewhere in the sun and your vitamin D level is going to be high enough, it's already proven wrong because the amount of time you need to spend in the sun with no sunscreen on for you to actually have a decent impact is around two and a half to three hours per day just to have the bare minimum. So how many, how much, how many right. people do you know Zero. who are in the sun three hours a day with no sunscreen on? And so that's kind of the conversation that you have once you're in the business and you see a little bit longer. Yeah. So it's, it's energy levels for women, testosterone levels for men. And then you have the golden vitamin parameter that if you want to start any discussion ever, you start with vitamin D because I've seen... That's the gateway drug. It's the, it's the gateway, <laughs> the gateway, it's the gateway um, conversation opener. Okay. Because you need it, it's good for you, and you, it's still low. Yeah. So you, there's something out there that is good for you that your body needs, but you're low at it. So when you came to start the business, so in some way, it's like I, the supplement thing kind of works against you because even if you're right, which you're clearly right, the, the problem is the American consumer, let's say, just wants the pill and be done with it, right? And, and sort of the efficacy, or even if it's working, is, uh, doesn't matter. It's just a placebo that they, makes them feel good about getting in that car and driving to work. 100%. So there's a couple of things. First of all, let's talk about placebo. I think it's very important. Placebo works. Yeah, so for sure. Placebo, as indicated based on research, has a 7% improvement level. If I give you sugar and I give you sugar but tell you it's a super drug, yeah. the person who thinks it's a super drug, he will improve his vitamin D level by 7% or his iron level by 7%. Your body will believe. The belief power of placebo is working. Yeah. So let's not take away anything from placebo. Yeah. The fact that somebody has said in the beginning, if you go into a drugstore and you get a Diet Coke and you get a Snickers and you get supplements, that's a start. <laughs> you could have just gotten a Diet Coke and a <laughs> yeah. Snickers, right? Right. So right. you got the supplements. You're already thinking about something. The problem is you think that's enough. You think you did that and everything else doesn't matter. Yeah. That's my issue. The other issue is people are like, supplements don't work. Of course they don't work. Why would something work which is recommended for everyone? Yeah. If I buy something on the shelf that's right. and a two-year-old eats it at home, the two-year-old will be fine. Well, if the two-year-old is fine, will I improve as a 40-year-old man? Like, no, because the dosage was good enough or safe enough for a child to take it with no downside. Well, where is my upside? So then people are like, well, it's not working. Yes, it's not working in that dosage. Well, it's not working for a longer time. Well, you should not take the same thing for more than three months. The reason is that right? If you don't know what your body needs, right. taking something Got blindly it. for Got three it. months or more is not good for you. Yeah. It's like, you know, when people are trying to lose weight and they start eating shrimp. Because shrimp is low in carbs. It's like High no carbs. High protein, carb. sure. Yeah. But yeah. your mercury, your, your, your uric acid level shoots up. <laughs> right. After three weeks of shrimp, your uric acid is so high, you have inflammation. It's the opposite of what you're trying to achieve. Right. There's no So anything there. you do, if you just keep doing it blindly, it's not going to be good. Right. So this is what you always see like with, like with allergies, with food allergies. You know what food allergies are? The more the things you eat, the higher they will indicate that you're allergic to it. Yeah. I learned this in Boston. When I was living in Boston, it's like all these, the gluten-free thing just came out. And so all, all the, it was like the cool thing to do. You go to Starbucks, you order a gluten-free something. Then all of a sudden, like every 16 to 18 year old girl had developed a gluten allergy almost I, overnight. Yeah. It was really interesting. Because that's just the, that's the, the body. The body's reaction the body is like, reacts. don't overdo anything. Right. So to go back to the UFC, yeah. so you're at the UFC you're with, you, and you have this like, Almost unbelievable moment. It's, at least moment. Mentally, it's called it's your aha moment, moment yeah, right? Your aha eureka moment. moment. And then what do you do from there? And so what's the next step? Is the UFC thinking, let's buy the company, let's become a consumer, a customer? What, what's the next? Is it a partnership? 
because usually all these things do start out at the athletic level, right? And so what was your, from there, you leave the meeting, you quit your job, yeah. and you're like, okay, I'm a, I'm a company now, I gotta go raise some capital. What's the first step that you decided to take there? Okay, so, my, so a little bit of my corporate background. So I did, I played professional, professional basketball a little bit. I played for a German national team. I played D1 here uh, in the US for the Buffalo Bulls. So I tore my ACL four times. So I knew quite early that I'm not gonna be a professional athlete. So I went to management consultancy, and then I joined Groupon at, oh, no at way. pre-IPO 2014. Wow. No, sorry, 2011, yeah. pre-IPO. And I became the youngest CEO at Groupon in 48 countries. So I did pre-IPO Groupon for five years. So I built... <laughs> That's bef- hilarious. Before doing Bionic, I built... Was I it built- Andrew? Who was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The CEO. That's so interesting. So, okay. yeah, so I joined them pre-IPO. Was, was at, at 26, became CEO for, for you know, one of the largest regions. Yeah. And then built that all up. After that... That was when, when I, after Groupon, I was like, okay, now I want to build something of my own. So my thought process was always, okay, I'm going to create value. I want to do something. And the two areas of my passion were education and health. Yeah. So it's not like I stumbled upon UFC and I was like, here's the company. I was like, I was looking sure. what I'm trying to do and what areas of interest to me. So I did not raise outside capital. I used all the money that I made in my professional career. Sure for the first year and a half, put it in because, you know, skin in the game, you want to understand what's going on, what Very you're doing. Important. Yeah. You're fully right in terms of athletes being an important part. You realize really quickly that athletes have so many limitations, regulations that you couldn't work with them. So the UFC, although they became a promotional partner down the road, yeah. it never became actually the part in terms of users because of the regulations that they have here in the US because personalization, when you personalize supplements every single time, you certify every, every single mixture for them every single time. So that, at that moment, at that stage of the business, it was just not, we're just not there yet. And then the journey started. Again, the journey started as normal. You know, who, who are your supporters, your, your friends, family, your network, who you're trying to, to build upon with? And was there always the quiz portion of it? So if people go online, there's yeah. a quiz that's kind of like kicks you off. Was that always a part of it? And so have, yes. Has a, that been able to get more condensed over time? Yeah. So that when we started off, as, uh, so as of today, we have two products called Bionic Go, Bionic Pro. Yeah. The Go one is a questionnaire of 45 questions. Pro is the same questionnaire and a 50 blood pra- parameter blood test. Okay. When we started the business, we had 140 blood markers. We had your stool sample size. We had uh, urine sample size with the DNA testing. It cost $3,000 per person. Yeah. So we started off extremely hands-on and broad and completely incapable That's of scaling. so interesting instead of the complete opposite way. We, so we went super deep. Wow. We signed the leading um, longevity clinics and hospitals in the UK like the number one brand for, for modern medicine called Lanzerhof, their Austrian company, which is, has some of the most famous clinics in Europe. They became our first official partner. So we went extremely deep, extremely medical, extremely hands-on, which sounds great, but it's horrible from a totally. scalability perspective. Of course, yeah. But we took that route and we decided, okay, we're going to do the, the hard thing first yeah. and build up and build the critical mass. So what you're experiencing today is actually the opposite. You experience now the critical mass has been surpassed. Yeah. You can now fill in the questionnaire, yeah. and we will use your questionnaire data and compare it to, to all your to yeah. previous people who did the blood testing sure. data. Sure. And we have an 82% accuracy on questionnaire only without the blood testing now. Okay. That's so the good. bigger the data sets, the more the algorithm, the more the algorithm teaches itself, course, yeah. the better I can predict what you need without you actually having to do the blood test. But you still offer the blood test version Of course, too. because we have professionals who want 100% accuracy. So how do you do that? And so on the blood test portion, I'm gonna have, I yeah. don't know, I'm going to have to sign up for that. Where do I go? Will you tell me to go somewhere so in LA? So, there's, in the, so in LA, you can go. So we're, um, we're partners with Remedy Place. Yeah. So you can, okay. you can do blood test there. That's not we're far part- away. Yeah, okay. we're, we're partners with DHA Laboratories. But... For last year, we have a new function where if you already have a blood test, you can upload the blood test. You can just send it in. You send it in. You upload the blood test in the app. We will analyze it and we'll create your supplementation based on the blood test that you just upload. Okay. So that's the capability already there. What's the turnaround time on the blood test? Like three weeks? No, no, no. It's no, no, faster. No, no. It's one week. It's one, one week. week. One week. See, that's pretty good. If you upload, it's it's instant. Yeah. If you if you if you go to a, one of our partner sites, it's next week. It's because you're partnered with Theranos. <laughs> eh, no, no, no. But I can tell you one thing: when I launched Bionic, yeah. because we were so blood test driven, Theranos was horrible for us in terms of oh, yeah. fundraising, in terms of positioning, in terms of any story. The first year and a half of Bionic. Every second question was about Theranos. No way. Yeah, Did they ever it, try to partner with you guys? No, no, no. That was, that was the timing. Was, the timing was we, were, we were after them. We, we went public when you know, the commentary started coming out and all that stuff sure. coming out. Okay, so now it's an efficient product. People can get it. What's the hard part today? What's the hard part? Because the consumer, like Dr. Andrew Huberman is a good example yeah, yeah. of people really caring yeah. about 
content yeah. as it relates to human optimization. Yeah. So what's the strategy today as a it's, business? It's, it's, there's different areas of business. Um, the, 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 the starting area, which is the fun part, you create something you love, it's passionate about the whole thing. And then there's the, it's called the death valley, the death valley of any business between two to $5 million in annual revenue, where it's too big to close, but you're too small to care. So you, in that death valley, what you're trying to do is you're trying to f find a product market fit where you have the same amount of in investment can get more and more and more users. So this took us five years. I keep telling people I was hitting my head against the wall for five years and then freaking after that, with the right product fit, with the right approach, with, with the right team in place, we were able to break through. And this, this is end of last year. So since then, we have the product market fit. We've been growing exponentially and thing that we are now in the position is we need to educate the market. So now we're here. One of the reasons why I'm here speaking to you yeah. is I need to educate the market. Like supplementation is great if it's personalized to you. Yeah. If it's off the shelf, it's also good, but it's not as good as it could be. Mm -hmm. Don't overdo it because there's a negative side effect to it. Mm -hmm. And the traditional pill form, which they use as starch to spike your insulin level, the, toxic the toxicity from a regular vitamin pill sometimes is worse than the benefits of the vitamins inside of it. Wow. So I'm here now to, to try to share with the users and the consumers why personalization is important yeah. and why the form of the way you take supplements is also important. Yeah. One of the things that just blows my mind is people giving vitamins to their children and gummy bears. Do you understand what you're doing? You're literally giving something negative to them, right. doing something good for you. I'm a good parent, I give them something well. Yeah. You mean well, but you do bad. So we are trying to do good in a good way, which is sustainable, yeah. while using the innovation that is now at our hands, because now we can, if you go to a doctor, like people say, hey, I don't need Bionic, I can just go to my doctor, do a blood test with him, and he will tell me what to buy the drugstore. Yes, you can do that. Yeah. A doctor on average has between 100 to 150 patients. The chance that he's seen somebody like you beforehand in his previous career is 0.01% compared to 100,000 user base globally with different uh, ethnicities and different areas of expertise and focus. So let's take advantage of the breakthrough and in innovation. Let's take advantage of the patent technology and granulars. Let's take advantage of a personalized approach. Mm -hmm. All that at $75 a month. So we're talking about a premium personalized Swiss made product, yeah. which is cheaper than currently other products being sold that are not personalized, which are just you know, right. dry powdered right. vegetables who are being right. sold to you by you know who. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So when it comes to someone like me, let's say, so I play, I'm pretty regimented, right? So real estate development, somewhat stressful job, maybe definitely stressful at times. Play tennis two hours a day, the cold plunges in the back, lift weights three, four times yeah. a, a week. Will my supplementation mixture formula change that much on an annual basis if I am consistent? Obviously, the only thing here would be the, the diet might, yeah, for the most part, it's, it is what it is. It doesn't change very much. I am hopefully similar to you. I'm disciplined, athletic. Yeah. I live in a place where temperature doesn't change a lot. Yeah. Your blood test will be volatile throughout okay. because the stress levels, the food, those are the vacations, sure. travel, all those things have incredible impact on, on what, what goes on in your body at this given moment. We've never in, our, in the history of our company yeah. had the same recipe twice. Oh, wow. Ever. Nobody okay. has ever received the same recipe as somebody else before. Yeah. And nobody has ever received the same recipe as the same person did prior. So the recipe, let's say, will last three months. It's a three-month recipe. It's a three-month recipe. Yeah, got it. If you have a questionnaire-based product, you will redo the questionnaire. Okay. You will indicate, just to make sure that you understand how, how blatantly obvious it is what's wrong with the industry. There's only one company in the entire supplement sector that when they do a questionnaire will ask you for your height and weight. Why is that? Which is us. Okay. Because we're the only company who can actually adjust, based on your answer, your dosages of your vitamins. Got it. Anybody else, you tell them, hey, I weigh 200 pounds or 260. <laughs> it's still a, so it's, obvious. It's still a pill. A pill is a pill. <laughs> a pill is a pill. So yeah. what you're going through. You'll pee it out. Whatever. <laughs> what you're going through will change over time, and the product will change. Your goals will change. Maybe now you're preparing for an endurance workout. Maybe in six months, you want to build up muscle mass. Yeah. Maybe in 12 months, you're trying to lose weight. Does those things will change and the product will have to adjust to it too. So your product will certainly change, especially because you're active. Yeah. People understand like, oh, I have an active lifestyle. Great. That means you use more of what your body has. So you have to replenish more. Right. Activity is actually one of the reasons why you need supplementation more. Yeah. 
I would agree with that. And I can feel it. That's the one thing I can almost feel. Sleep's another one. Obviously, if you don't sleep, yeah. you're, you're, yeah. the odds of you performing are pretty low. That's really interesting. What have you changed personally about your life and diet as you've gone through this journey? Oh, dude. I mean, my biggest breakthrough was, I think, from a caloric perspective, you need to realize with age, especially with even that metabolism is going down, you can't. You can't do what you used to do. Those three and a half, four thousand calorie days are, are gone. You know, you're not to be in the two thousand, two thousand four hundred restriction. I think one of the things is uric acid. Uric acid is one of my main indicators for me that I make sure that I'm eating the right things. Mm -hmm. So uric acid it spikes through shellfish or through red meat. Too much consumption of red meat. So you you will adjust your your diet for that per, um, perspective. And then you have alcohol. Yeah. Like alcohol. I it's try. So, no, 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 it's not. So this is where okay, this, I, 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 I have. I have. No, no. I have a, a controversial <laughs> point. Okay. I stopped drinking for a year, and I experienced all the benefits of not having alcohol, which is better recovery time, fitter, skin looks better, all those. You wake up energized, all those things. And I realized to myself, it's not worth it, because the social aspect that I lose from that you know, occasional night out, the occasional di dinner with friends, that occasional, you know, fun time was so much stronger. So the positivity of that occasional, let's call it more relaxed environment right. was for me health-wise more important than being super strict on, on, on alcohol. But now on a blood level perspective, I see when you drink. Mm -hmm. So I understand how bad it is. So now I'm at this point where like, you will never see me have a casually one drink. I'd rather not drink for three weeks, but then have a decent amount yeah. and then stop again for three weeks. But I will not stop not having it because I realize that on an emotional basis, yeah. it's important for me to have that connection and that relaxed setting. Yeah, I totally. That's not controversial at all. What will you drink when you do drink? Do you ever? Did tequila. that change? Only at drink all? tequila. Only, te only, only tequila. Only tequila. No red wine. No, no. Only tequila soda. No. Only tequila soda. Only no te sugar. No sugar. That's smart. That's yeah. what I drink. Okay. Only tequila. Never. No. So I just love the red wine, though. I'm a big. The red problem wine with guy. red wine is, what, I mean, you read the book, uh, uh, Why We Sleep with. Everybody read the book while yeah. we sleep. So. Yeah, terrible sleep. No question about it. It's, and, it's and, just... and the thing is, I was just a, a first of all, the perception that, that alcohol allows you to fall asleep quicker is a lie. It's a lie, yeah. It lowers your stress levels, but your sweet sleep quality is worse. Yeah. So Way it's worse. actually the opposite. Especially red wine. Yeah. So unfortunately, everybody, everybody who loves red wine and, and reads and listens how great it is and healthy it is for you, it's, it's not the case when you're talking about sleep quality. Yeah. But again, it has other benefits that might overweigh that. That's right. And that's, that's a controversial statement. A controversial statement is that I've seen on the cognitive and you know, mental well-being status that that relaxed aspect was for me more valuable than those extra 1% of recovery. Yeah, it's also too, like I think if you're a high-performing athlete, right, then it's like, then the trade-off makes sense because then your performance is kind of what you're, you're building your livelihood yeah. on, your, your brand, your yeah. everything. Yeah. And yeah. so in that case, got it, Th those things compute. But the relaxation thing, for probably people, people like us is a yeah. real thing too. And, and that outweighs, you know, if someone was paying me for my body, may, maybe exactly. I wouldn't drink, exactly. but uh, exactly. luckily for me. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the funny part is when you're still in that age that somebody's paying for your body in the professional athlete kind of sense, yeah. at that age, your body is still able to metabolize and do it, you know, sure. handle the alcohol in a, good, in a good way. I mean, we all had that period. I would be 27, 28, night out till 6 a.m. at 10 a.m. I would do a 10, 10 kilometer run with no issues. Right. Like now I realize how bad it is for my health, for my heart, for everything, for everything, for everything. But back then That's it so didn't funny. seem hard. Like, yeah. Oh, I, I forgot. I, I made an appointment to run at 10 a.m. Sure. Yeah. What are you guys working on on deck for 2025? Like what's the, what's the future here of the company? Uh, there's three things. So one is we all understand that blood testing, especially when you do it on a, like call on a quarterly basis, mm -hmm. that's a snapshot of your health. There's a million things that happen in between those points. Sure. And Thanks to the innovation and the wearables and the data sets, the whoops and the auras of the world, mm -hmm. what we're integrating now is what happens in between those blood testing, integrating that kind of data. What's your activity level? How, what's your steps? What's your sleep? What's God your strain? Damn, I got to wear a wearable. Do you wear one? I wear, so I have all, we're official partner with whoop and with aura from, oh, for, for, for many, many years. Okay. I have Apple Watch. To be honest with you, for now, <laughs> just start with the steps. Yeah. Your, 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 your phone in your pocket is enough. So you don't have to overdo I it. I had a whoop. I stopped wearing it because it was like, it was too consistent. Like my, I'm a consistent person. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play yeah. two hours of tennis a day. Yeah. That step count is roughly between 10 to 16,000. Yeah. That just is what it is every day. There's a lot of people that I heard this from. Yeah. Um, not a lot of people are like you and me. So, sure. so there's the reason why this the discipline is, is real. Yeah. The discipline is real. And then there's also the other, there's a lot of 
benefits here. So one of the biggest things we're doing is called Bionic Score. So now Bionic Score will adjust including your activity levels in between and your sleep patterns in between. So we will then know then if your testosterone is going up or down, is it going up and down because you have right now a training regimen or is it going down because you have a, a bad a sleeping pattern for the last three weeks? Or a new girlfriend. Whatever, whatever it might be, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. So there's, there's different reasons for that. So that's one of the things we're taking forward in terms of measurements in between that will also allow us to, to take the, the, the questionnaire-based product by on the go and every three months being able to offer you a updated formula even if you don't fill in the questionnaire. Yeah. The second thing is what we're doing now, we're integrating with more and more laboratories. So we just partnered with the largest laboratory network in the UK called Randox. Now, if you do a blood test at Randox and doing thousands a day, if the blood markers that you did are relevant to Bionic, then in your app and in your dashboard, there will become a link available where you will see for free the recipe that your body would need in terms of this is the ingredients, this is the dosage that you would need, and you can automatically click on it and receive your Bionic. So it's part of the integration where it's a, it's a seamless experience. You already have the blood test. Here's what you would need. If you don't want to buy from us, just go to the drugstore, buy it there. But if you want to buy from us, it's a one-click stop solution. And the third one is, this, I can't tell you, it's because it's patented, and it's an, R, it's an RD project where we're developing. We see additional de uh, demographics that we're currently not covering, and hopefully next year we'll be able to. But I realized one thing that I did wrong my entire career at Bionic initially was I tried to do too many things at once. Mm -hmm. I always tried to be the ecosystem of something, the platform for something else, the biohacker of something. Like, no, we're a personal supplements company based on blood testing data. Yeah. And then here's the three target audiences. Here's the professional athlete or people who want to be like professional athletes. Right. Here is the general public who wants to support the health, support the immunity, anti-aging effects, longevity, cognitive functions. And then there's a th third area that is currently not covered by us, and this is where we're going into, yeah. and this will be the, for 2025. Give people, just to, to land the plane here on the, granu on the granular yeah. mixture, because yes. most people are going to think it's still a supplement. So, no. so, you, the you, so this, yeah. is, this is the idea. 25 years ago, <laughs> a Swiss young man worked at a pharmaceutical company in Switzerland. This is a true story. I'm not making this up. And during research, we realized when people take pills that their toxicity level jumps up before the, the ingredients of the pill is being absorbed. So he, with his, with, his, with his engineering background, decided to create an alternative to pill form in a way, how can I get the ingredients inside of my body without causing toxicity that like normally done by a starch in, in, a, in a vitamin pill. And he develops something that's called a guar, which is a prebiotic. A guar is a natural, almost like a, it's a granule, it's like a muesli. I don't know if, if yeah. it's like a, people understand. What the, it absorbs the micronutrients in itself so the micronutrients are like a powder. So there's this guar that absorbs the powder in it and slow releases it in your body. So what we do is we don't give you pills, we give you powder, so granular, that has already your personalized mixture inside of it. You put it in your mouth, you drink with water, you put it on food, and then over 12 hours it will be absorbed in your body. The good thing about this is you can take all the supplementation at once and they will not block each other. Yeah. What is very, very, already well known now is a lot of supplements you can't take at the same time because they will block each other and people who you know this famous you know people who are on instagram who have like a handful of supplements with 40 pills in them and they swallow them half of those pills are being blocked by each other so all he really does is just having a handful of starch <laughs> with a lot of placebo effect which yeah. is again good seven percent Seven percent, which I take any time of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. So th this is what the, most people do. So we're using Swiss-made patented granules. So that's one of their unique selling points is it's proven to absorb higher. It doesn't block each other, and there's no starch, no extra calories. It doesn't break you fast. So if you're fasting in the morning, oh, Bionic perfect. does not break yeah. you fast. Vadim, thank you, brother. Thanks, I buddy. appreciate you coming on the pod. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, share with your friends, your family, or anyone you might think might benefit from the conversation we've had today. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to leave a review on your favorite podcast platform. We'd greatly appreciate it. Your feedback helps us improve and reach more people who can benefit from our discussions. The best way to stay connected with us and get the latest updates on future episodes is through our social media channels. You can find us at Startup Storefront. We'll be back next Tuesday with another great episode. See you then.